and welcome to something new on the channel. It's Formula One 2019 and I'm very excited to bring this to you. You can see we are choosing our avatar here for our person in this save and I am very excited. We're going to dive straight in to a new career mode to get F1 2019 underway and we're going to be going through the F2 feeder series which will have a bit coming up about in just a minute. If you're excited for this series, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe, leave a like and we'll get this underway. So we're going to choose our nationality. We are obviously British, even though I live in Singapore, we're going to stick with the British nationality. We'll go with the proper name, Dave Nichols, that is my name. We'll have CLF as our three letters, I've already planned that going forward, which is very, very good because cultured left foot. We're branching off away from football going into Formula One. Let's see how that unfolds. Now we have to pick a name for ourselves and Dave and Nichols and funnily enough left foot aren't in the audio name. So as I was going through these um, I found one that just made me laugh and this is the sort of well age of my humor I guess because once we scroll all the way through these names you'll soon find the one I pick and it's going to make me laugh when it goes through the uh, it's not skip skip isn't the one we pick don't worry skip. it's a better one than that when it goes through the grid um, after qualifier I was the tempted scientist. by the scientist or the engineer but in the end we went with Wang um, yeah. <laughs> because Wang. it's gonna have to say Wang. <laughs> uh, then we get to pick our number. Now my favourite number is 3. If I can't have that I have 33. If I can't have that I generally go with 13. So that's what we've gone with and if we are lucky enough to win the championship we will become driver number 1. So that's the profile done. Let's get into the save. So as you can see on new F1 2019, it's got a new menu and everything like that. If you've come from F1 2018, we're going to a new career mode. We're going to be starting a new career. We're just looking through. But before we do that, there's lots more customization we can do in today's game or this year's game. Uh, we're going to change our helmet. So we have a quick look through. Um, I generally go on one which is pretty common, I think, amongst this. I'm not going to get many of these points to unlock other helmets because I don't really play online. But we go for the Wild Things helmet and we change the colours up to go for our lovely uh, purple and yellow which you will see in just a second because we're going to edit it now. So we go for a nice dark yellow, we'll get rid of some of the luminescence, we just have a look to see if we can go purple first, which we do. We're matching the colour scheme of NK Maribor which is what originally set off the channel colours. If you're new to the channel then this will probably mean nothing to you because it's mainly been about football. But uh, yeah, we take down the luminescence so we make it a nice dark purple. Uh, increase a little bit of saturation then we go for the secondary color and get that to yellow uh, and with that we have to take the saturation back towards more color and away from gray so that's what we're just doing here and you can see it's becoming a nice yellow and purple sort of number and then again reduce the luminescence so it goes a little bit darker not too much light bouncing around off it and then the third we just go for another branch of the yellow as well because why the hell not yellow and purple are my two colors it's a really good mix of colors I think so I'm very much excited to get this underway and once this customization is done we'll be jumping into the new career mode mode on Formula One 2019 so we get that sorted we do our helmet and then after that we'll go and pick our uh, driving suit and again we've only got the basic one so we have classic white classic green or classic blue and we go with a classic green these are just a some examples of the new ones that are on offer but we go with the classic green again you won't really see this very much because we're going to be racing for obviously a uh, an actual legitimate uh, racing team who actually exists and there we go that's the profile done let's now officially get in to the new career mode in F1 2019 and I'm very very excited here we go in F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history.
So here we are for the F2 teams. We're going to go for Trident purely because of the name. And we're going to go into the Ferrari Driver Academy because I ideally want to go and join the Haas team. I really love their gold and black um, uh, rivalry that they have. But on the action then we go into the first uh, story mode of the F2 campaign where we're up against Mr. Butler. Still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So as we get into the cockpit then, it is worth pointing out that this is the first time I've ever driven an F2 car. Um, I've played a bit of F1 2018, as you can see, going very wide on the first corner, not getting used to the steering ratios. And then we take this corner, we go wide, and we let Weber go through, or Weber, I should say Weber, Weber, Weber is a German name. But we let him go through, we let him get That's into great. the more attacking positions, and we've got to hope that that works out best for the team. But we come into the chicane oh, towards the end on this, of the lap as we come round. A right, right, right turn, but above us, there's some battling going on from the AI, and this is a big improvement in F1 2019. The computer battles each other as uh, we see the HWT team getting in there and getting a bit of the action. But back with us in the cockpit, we come through into a tight right-hander. We come around dropping down into third gear, trying to just ride the curb a little bit. Just lacking getting on the power. Obviously, we've lost our turbocharger at this point, so it's very, very tough to get into these positions. A long right-hand bend, taking it all in fourth gear. Now going up to fifth. As we come down, we're going to have to drop down to third or second at this point. We drop down to second gear, and uh, we're holding off Markolov behind us at the moment in the F2. But we're going all right, and then we come down again. Fourth, drop to second, around the sort of hairpin corner. It comes around. We start to lose the back end and just about keep it together. And we're looking to attack the laps as best we can. Not too bad in terms of traffic behind us at the moment. We're not holding too many people up, just lagging a bit there to get on the power. As we come around the corner, this long right hand, gear four again. And then we come onto the long straight. We go and see what's happening up ahead of us as we come into the left hand side second gear take the bollard out because we take the apex far too tight and you can see it just in the mini map on the bottom left teams really starting to get close to us other drivers are starting to close that gap as our losing our turbo has really affected our pace around this lap and here we go then into the next corner and then the tight chicane as we come round into second gear just gently on the power as we come through the chicane but there is Devon Butler leading the way I think or possibly in second place and we're riding along with Weber right behind him he's getting up close and personal looking to close that gap we've let him go through can he make it worthwhile letting him get through he's probably going to get up into the points he's consistently setting the fastest laps of the race which is coming through on my telemetry rather than on this but as you can see he comes through he's closing the gap on Devon Butler He's right up his gearbox, which is really good racing from Weber. And he comes through a lovely livery on our car as well. I'm not too familiar with the F2 teams, but I do like Trident's little colours here. So we're back on with uh, no, Nichols, coach left foot, myself, round the corner, coming down to the start, uh, finish straight, round past the galleries, get a big loud cheer as we come through. We have a little bit check behind us to see the train. As we just come through down this straight, and we come towards the corner, you can see the train is really building up behind us. They've all got DRS open and are chasing us down into the corner. We slow down to take it well, and we hit the apex pretty good. Coming around to the left left sided corner, we come through and just about keeping a gap. But you can see coming in here, fifth, down to third to take the corner. Starting to hit these corners all a little bit better now as we get used to the, the handling of the car. And we've got news on Weber. I'm pretty sure at this point, judging by the minimap, he has got past Devon Butler and is up into second place, which I think is unbelievable for him. If you think he, we let him through when we were seventh or sixth and he went up into fifth, he has made some outstanding progress 
in the rest of this career with two or one and a half laps to go really is it going to pay off as he come down the long straight up into fifth gear we're going at full pelt down into second for the tight bend around obviously no more bollard because we've already taken it out on a previous lap but here we go at the front of the race I think this is the front, no, third position is where Weber finds himself at the moment, right up the back of the car in front as we just look and one car further back and go back to Weber to see if he can make this move as we find the best angle to watch this happen as he gets into the start finish straight, he's going to get DRS open, he goes round to the right hand side and makes the move look really, really easily and as you can see on the next corner comes out in front to put himself in second position right behind a Carlin team and he's got the pace on him he hits a bit of the dirt but that doesn't stop Weber and he comes into the corner takes it really well on the apex can he get the foot down to make the move happen he's right up the gearbox of the opposition driver and he goes around the outside has he got the pace he has because he holds the inside line as they come up the hill and that gives Weber the lead in the race and it proves our decision to let him go through was the correct one as he should now see that home with all the clean air in front of him. If he can keep the players out of DRS range he will be good as we're now challenging Markolov as we come into the tight left hand corner down into second gear trying to get a good pace out of the turn and it does look like we get that. We did have a little bit of contact with Markolov. We were lucky to not get a warning as we drop down again to second gear up the hill get it into third so that you keep the traction as you come over to the crest we're just dropping off Markolov but we're gonna hopefully be able to catch him around this corner we take it very 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 understeery over the apex and uh, we have caught his DRS which will get us much closer fifth down to second again tight apex again the bollard's not there because we took it out a lot earlier are we gonna catch him it's the last lap of the race I don't think we are I think we're going to run out and on there. As we try to force the issue, we go very, very wide. Lucas Weber sets the fastest lap. He wins the race as well. So a perfectly good decision to let him run through as we come into the chicane for the last time in this race. And then it's the long right-hander that you can really get pace up as we cross the start-finish line across past the checker flag, finishing in seventh, which I'm quite happy about. Well done. Good finish. He stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Great, great work from the Trident team. They take a famous win here today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what won them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to end. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here, turn a little this way for me, perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? So the first question in the interview, we go with settling in well, we're going to find our rhythm. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Yeah, I don't think this is too bad a question. We're going to say he was obviously faster. There's no reason to hold him up. And I think that was justified. Great. Well, that's everything. Hey, look. I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. 
The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? You watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will.